This is an adult patient with severe saphenofemoral junction incompetence, giving rise to the smoke sign. The diameter of the saphenofemoral junction is almost 1 cm. The smoke sign is seen on B mode ultrasound of the saphenofemoral junction and is a significant finding on ultrasound imaging of the veins, especially in the saphenofemoral junction. It indicates severe saphenofemoral junction incompetence and the presence of turbulent flow in the veins, which is a hallmark of venous insufficiency. The significance of the smoke sign is that it can help identify the location and the extent of venous, venous insufficiency in the saphenofemoral junction. Color Doppler ultrasound of the saphenofemoral junction also shows severe turbulent flow within this region. On color Doppler of the saphenofemoral junction, there is forward flow which is seen in blue color. On, one's, on Valsalva maneuver, there is reverse flow seen as red color in this region. The smoke sign seen on B mode ultrasound is typically due to the presence of turbulent flow in the veins rather than stagnation or increased flow. We will now move over to study the spectral Doppler ultrasound of the saphenofemoral junction. The duration of reverse flow is more than 3 seconds in this patient. When the duration of reverse flow in the saphenous vein and the saphenofemoral junction exceeds 3 seconds, it is considered to be a significant finding that may indicate a more severe and advanced stage of the disease. The prolonged duration of reverse flow indicates that the valve at the saphenofemoral junction is in fact not working at all, allowing blood to flow back down the vein towards the calf for an extended period of time. In such cases, where the reverse flow lasts more than 3 seconds, the high pressure caused by the refluxing blood can re lead to increased dilation and tortuosity of the saphenous vein and the tributary veins, resulting in the formation of varicose veins in the calf. The prolonged retrograde flow also causes damage to the valves and the walls of the veins, leading to further deterioration of the venous system. Such patients may experience severe symptoms such as pain, swelling and skin changes and may be at an increased risk for complications such as venous ulcers and thrombosis. Therefore, it is important to accur accurately diagnose and assess the severity of SFJ incompetence using color and spectral Doppler ultrasound. The management of such cases involves a combination of conservative measures and invasive treatments. Conservative measures may include lifestyle changes such as weight loss, regular exercise and avoiding prolonged periods of standing or sitting. Compression stockings may also be useful in such cases. Invasive treatments include endovenous ablation techniques such as radiofrequency or laser ablation. Sclerotherapy is also useful in such cases. Coming to the calf, there are multiple massively dilated varicose veins seen in this region in close relation to the great saphenous vein. Turbulent flow is seen even in these superficial varicose veins. The prognosis in such cases depends on various factors such as the extent of the disease patient age and comorbidities. With appropriate treatment, most patients can expect significant improvement in symptoms and cosmetic appearance of their legs. However, recurrence rates of varicose veins after treatment can be as high as 50% and ongoing monitoring and management may be necessary. Complications such as deep vein thrombosis or venous ulcers may occur in some cases.